Hello everyone and welcome to our online course in governance in humanitarian contexts. I am Gabriela Cuadrado Quesada and I am a lecturer and a researcher in water law and justice at IAG Delft Institute for Water Education. And together with many humanitarian experts, we will take you into a journey where we'll be discussing important issues related to the humanitarian architecture, humanitarian actors, multi-level governance, decision-making processes, humanitarian wash, and safeguarding humanitarian wash outcomes. Our Governance in Humanitarian Context online course runs for 16 weeks. This is about four months and it starts in May and goes until the end of August. And it includes a combination of learning and teaching activities. This includes, for example, video lectures, knowledge clips, live session, individual assignments, group assignment, presentations, where all of you will be meeting each other and discussing all these topics. The course is divided into main four big topics. So first of all, we have humanitarian architecture, where we'll be discussing the core actors of the humanitarian sector, as well as the challenges in coordination and in providing relief. The second big topic is governance landscapes in humanitarian context, where we'll be discussing the different approaches of governance, as such as multi-level governance and the different governance mechanisms used in humanitarian contexts. Then the third topic is analysis of decision making in humanitarian wash. In this topic we'll, we will be discussing in detail how decision making works in humanitarian wash, how this works in practice and what are the main challenges that all these actors face. Finally we have the topic of safeguarding humanitarian wash outcomes. Under this we will be exploring themes such as how to adapt and improve monitoring quality and accountability mechanisms. In these 16 weeks we will be discussing many different questions, many important questions such as who are the main actors and what are the main actions for them to provide relief and how do they coordinate this, coordinate this action. Then we are going to discuss what is humanitarian international law, who is a refugee and why should we care about refugees. Also what is the human right of water and sanitation and why is it important. What is multi-level governance and how does it work on the ground in practice in humanitarian context. Then we will be also discussing the key challenges of humanitarian governance frameworks. For example, what is the humanitarian program cycle? What is the cluster approach? And what are the differences between, for example, a cluster or a sector coordination mechanisms. Then we will be discussing also how can humanitarian workers influence this humanitarian architecture and how they can improve their leadership skills. Also we will be discussing the key challenges of working, uh, of the actors working in humanitarian context across different sectors, like WASH and health, then we will also be discussing why is it important to include consultation and feedback mechanisms in designing a WASH humanitarian response and why it's so important to include a gender perspective when designing and implementing a WASH response. I hope this quick overview of our governance in humanitarian context online course has provided you with some guidance and have sparked your curiosity for the challenges and complexities of governance in humanitarian context. And now you are prepared to follow this course with all of us. I'm looking forward to meeting all of you and I hope you will enjoy the entire course. Thank you.